Hello legends, welcome back to another video. I am with my friend Masood right here. And we just grabbed a quick coffee and he is showing me, or showing us, his brand new car. You have had basically everything from Ferrari to Lamborghini to Lamborghini LM002. Yeah, used to daily that. Yeah, so a bit of everything. And you've ended up now with a Porsche Turbo S and a very particular Porsche Turbo S. So I wanted to kind of, you know, walk the audience around the car and then we're actually going to take it for a drive. And that's when we're going to be able to hear your most recent modification, which is the exhaust. Yeah. So Complete decat, right? Something like that. Maybe for the authorities, we'll pretend it. Okay. Yeah. It's a valve. Yeah, yeah. That, it's it's a generous valve system. Valve. Yeah. We already got stopped by the cops today. <laughs> yeah. Because I was revving it, but that was Seb's fault. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, the car is really, really different to a usual Turbo S. You know, it's graphite blue. Yeah, uh, beautiful color. Yeah, it's like a, a blue Nardo, I would say. Yeah, exactly. Um, it wasn't a color that was really appreciated at the beginning by people, uh, but it was what I was looking for. Uh, the car, I'll sum it up, it doesn't have a sunroof, which was also yeah. what I was looking for. Because you track this thing. Yeah, it gets tracked. And, and so you have the structural rigidity, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't have the rear wiper, which is a true. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, until you mentioned it, I hadn't thought of it. But it's true that the rear wiper really looks pretty crappy. I think uh, any real Porsche guy will tell you that it's pointless because when you're driving at 125 miles an hour the rain's going yeah. away with it. <laughs> yeah. you don't need the wiper at that no, no, speed no, look at it it's shaped to get the rain off yeah, literally. very cool the wing which is now in its up position yeah it's it's sort of the, the hydraulically raised yeah. and then yeah. there's a membrane up front um the car is modded of course because if not it sounds like a dyson hoover <laughs> um, and it, it it's also a bit too high a bit like a jeep wrangler <laughs> i would say yeah um, so you've lowered it yeah so it's on uh h and r lowering springs wow yeah i mean yeah. look at that the gap between the wheel and the wheel arch yeah it's right where it needs to be in my opinion yeah um up front is where you really see how lowered she is yeah and then she's cambered up so as you can see, oh, yeah. the, the wheel the wheels actually go inwards. Yeah. Um, because I just needed that extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. The grippage. <laughs> but yeah, it's like on a GT3 RS now. Yeah. The front end yeah, of this thing. So the, the mechanic who prepared it is um, a cup mechanic. He okay. Was for Porsche. Yeah. And so uh, he got it done. The cool thing about this, and I'm sure there there is a few out there, but I haven't seen one like this yet. Sports bucket seats. Yeah. Outrageous. Fully carbon backed. That is nuts, because most turbos people will use as a comfortable cruiser. Of course. And so this is awesome to have this. And you actually, I think they're convenient because you can get bigger you're people in the well back. Seated. You're, you're, I feel like you're snuggled up like a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah you're in a baby seat. Yeah, baby but also because it's so thin, yeah. like you can actually fit a proper sized human in the back. Yeah. I think if the human is up to about 165 centimeters of height. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're chilling, yeah. Okay, yeah. Blue interior. I hope it comes off on camera as well. So matching the exterior. I call it swanky. Swanky. <laughs> oh, it's like Austin Powers blue. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Carbon everywhere, yeah. which is an option. Yeah. It has um, oh yeah, that is an expensive option. That's a must on any Turbo S. Yeah, yeah, you know, very true. You're a music guy. It has lift system, which most oh. Turbo S don't have. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't know and especially why. when you've lowered it, that's well, good to I have. Well, it was as high as a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so before, yeah, with the lift up, it was a six by six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, what is this standard? The uh, white. No, it has the white uh, speedo dials. Yeah, very nice. Which is not standard, of course. Yeah. It has a silver steering wheel. And so no, you mean um, seat belt. Uh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. It's seat belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> the cool thing about not having a sunroof is that you have the full Alcantara oh, yeah. headliner, and it's just I think it suits the car so much better. Yeah, that's really nice actually. Yeah. No, the spec is awesome. It's very one of a kind. Point, yeah. It suits you perfectly because you daily drive it, but yeah. you also track it. Yeah, and so it has uh, things like steel brake lines, Yeah. Uh, cambered up, it's lowered, the yeah. exhaust as we've already spoken about. and The seats, everything. Yeah, and she's usually running um, soft compound Trofeo R's on different wheels. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, and, so yeah. serious. And it's quick, it's quick. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, let's give it a go. Let's have a little drive. Uh, let's start This is going to be cool. Oh, yeah, start it. Yeah, okay. I I, yeah. We've already revved it, so are the police going to show up soon? Give it a little, you know nothing what's the big. Thing is when the police stop you and you're like, Ossifer, and when the moment you said Ossifer, he knows you're probably drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they're definitely on their way now, yeah. 
Jesus, the turbo song. Okay, let's get in, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. All right, onwards. Okay, let's see what the show's all about. modify this even more? A hundred percent. And that is because? That is because I find that it's lacking about 200 horsepower. Lacking? Yeah, yeah. See, I would say it's got 200 horsepower too much. <laughs> For me, I feel like it's lacking 200 horsepower. It needs an IPD plenum. Uh, I won't touch the turbos, but we're gonna bring her up to stage two. And the rest is all done. You know, it has steel brake lines. It has uh, higher dot brake fluid, you know, so yeah. that you can really gun it, as you can see. I, yeah. you well, yep, that's, uh, yeah, I can yeah. confirm. And, uh, well, I don't think anyone really heard the pops and bangs, huh? Uh, well, I mean, the... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds insane and you're like, no, ah, no, no, but it's, uh, oh, yeah, no, a little one there. Yeah, but it's you, very angry. The sounding. one that it just did in the tunnel, it sounded like. Oh, yeah. It sounds like, just imagine a 60s sort of Italian sports car yeah. popping and banging. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. You know what I said it sounded like? It sounded like a, a, a dinosaur after it found out that you slept with his wife. That or Satan? Or Satan, yeah. One or the other. <laughs> They're probably pretty similar in character, those yeah. two things. Oh my God. What a beast. Right, what now? I think you need to experience this and you're gonna tell us what you think about it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we're gonna switch somewhere up, up front there. Beautiful interior as well. Oh, by the way, my coffee went flying halfway through that. I think we've lost a few of them. <laughs> yeah, I managed to actually save it and drink it. So <laughs> I swear, there's a clip I'm drinking the coffee because I didn't want it to fly and spill everywhere. Like, we got away with it, there's no coffee anywhere. Thank God. Yeah, no. Took oh, one wait. for the, took one for the, the lift system. Oh yeah. Is it quick the lift? Listen. Don't know if they'll be able to hear that, but it makes a fair old racket. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like an F50. <laughs> <laughs> the sound lift yeah. an F50. Yeah. It sounds like a hydraulic lift. But is it front lift or for like front no, and back? Front. front. Unlike McLarens and, uh, and all that, it's front yeah. lift. But it looked like it was quick, efficient, and when it goes down, it doesn't make any noise. Oh yeah. Oh, and you can almost feel it. It goes yeah. down super quick. Yeah, it's, it goes up quite high. Take it Sport Corona, that's standard on Turbo S, right? I believe so. Should, I mean, you'd expect so. I would expect so. I know that probably on turbos, I don't think so. On Turbo S's, I think they... Because these, like, 
Well, maybe, list maybe price is, is a lot. Tell us. Yeah, they should. But, wow, look at you. You're like a born natural YouTuber. Well, I think I would love to know, to be fair with you, above all. Yeah. To be fair, it's quite civilized in town. Yeah. I no, honestly, yeah. I wouldn't call it civilized, like, with what we just did. But in general now, it is pretty civilized. But it's got, it's like literally what the turbos are missing is this... Um, this visceral side. Yeah, and it really sounds like a like GT3 RS when you're on it now. Yeah, that, that, it sounds very much sort of in the spirit of JCR and Sharks Works and what yeah. those guys do. Yeah. Um, I think that what's incredible is the blow off valves. So I don't know if people can hear it. Yeah. As we let go of the throttle, the car is just going. Yeah. And th this is incredible. This yeah. turbo side has always been missing in a, in a turbo. No, no, it's really cool. I don't know yeah, because it's always been... Oh! That was a good one. And the four-wheel drive really puts the power down. Yeah, but I, I drive with traction off. Yep, as you do. Oh, we're getting that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You got to keep this one for a while? I am um, daily. To be honest, I think we've always done this mess. I don't think there's a single car that I've had that you haven't driven. True. And apart from my R8, you never drove the R8. No, no, but uh, having had a 570, I have an idea of what it is. Yeah. But, uh, but please, do not drive like uh, one of those Sunday drivers is going to like Sainsbury's mate. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll drive it properly. Yeah. Notes taken. <laughs> I'll hand you the camera, you're spreading it. <laughs> Looks like a Starbucks Starbucks advertisement. <laughs> Literally. Merry Christmas. Or the interior? Yeah. I don't need lift here, do I? Uh, let's put it just in case. Or well, even just like. You hear it? <laughs> it sounds like a crane. You sexy beast. <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> we got passed by a bicycle. <laughs> Out there, 610. The gearbox is incredible. And we're not in Sports Plus, we're in Sports. It becomes more efficient in Sports Plus. Yeah, but it's just so like instant. It's very it composed. Knows what you want to do. Extremely composed. The I... front end feels um, very direct. It's got a bit of that kind of Ferrari esque, like really dark. Exactly, steering. exactly that. And that's because we have the camber on. Hundred percent. Well, to a certain extent, I think when you launch it, it kind of slides. Yeah, we did a launch earlier. I think you're gonna uh, you're gonna put that into yeah, this clip because we, need to put that we can't relaunch it because I don't know where. Well, also you know, just for the gearbox and stuff. What are you talking about? It's With these you can do it. As you much can as launch you as much as you want. What a fantastic concept. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tiens le frein. Ouais. Accélère. Vas-y, lâche. <laughs> It's, it, I really feel like this is what was missing from a turbo. You kind of bought it. I'm going to let the Renault Cena go a little bit. <laughs> the Renault Cena. <laughs> oh my God. 
No, but it's crazy how, so I drove same generation turbo uh, not too long ago and the steering is maybe, mushy is the wrong word, but it's great. It's just a bit, I'm used to that Ferrari steering. Of course. The sky. This feels more similar to the Ferrari. Very direct front end. The brakes are actually really communicative because on the Scud, they're the first generation kind of ceramics. So it's kind of like nothing, 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 bang, yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. Here it's much more communicative. Yeah. No turbo lag. No. You can feel because the carbon back seats are kind of like straight to the car. You can feel the pop. Yeah, everything, back. everything. What a car. So, wait, overdrive? Uh, Over no, wait, 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 wait. Let's get into a straight line. Okay, there. Press it. 20 seconds. All right, go, gun it. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, you use the ceramics as they should be used right there. Yeah. Now I was proud. Before I wasn't proud of your driving. Now I am. Do you do left foot braking at all? No. I, I started doing left foot braking. To I'm like happy for you. I, go on track. I don't believe in it. Do you see how the chassis is? Since so we flat. we got all the camber right, and the mechanic who did it is a cup mechanic, and um, and the brake lines and the racing brake fluid. He's it. Yeah, he's nailed it. And also, I mean, I'm gonna be the boring guy now and just say, look how much space there is behind me. Like, even just to put like your bags or whatever. Yeah, those those go down, by the way. Yeah, those seats go down. Yeah. Hey, this must be, you took it on track, and what, what were the lap times like? Uh, the GT3 Touring on Castellet, which was also modded in terms of camber on race tires, was doing one, two minutes 29. This was doing two minutes 28 uh, on Pirelli P0, so not sticky tires, and fully stock. So uh, the piece that we had was doing 2 minutes 24 and of course that's 700 and 720 horsepower? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so when you think about it now and the setup it's, it's at, I think we're going to be doing some very fast lap times. Wow. And it's good on track, it doesn't feel too heavy? Not at all. The only thing you would feel was the center of gravity was slightly too high, but oh, now yeah. we got the springs down and also the, the brake pedal was slightly mushy. Yeah, you're going right. Can we still go right here? Uh, I think you need to do the loop. Oh, yeah. You need to do the loop. Um, um, and basically, yeah. Oh, wow. look at the coppers. You it's loop it loud. Here. Yeah. We, we forget how loud it is. Yeah. Look at that view of Monaco. Wow. That is by far the most beautiful view of Monaco. And speaking of views, the visibility in this thing is... Is this the cyclist from earlier? Yeah, yeah. He basically... Man, how? that guy is running NOS. Yeah, well, how do I put it into comfort? I want to see what it's like when you turn it up. Uh, yeah, this is comfort. Normal. Why is it O? Oh. Normal. Oh, normal. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Is it what does it say? It's an O. Oh. I think it means zero. Oh, <laughs> just like you're done. Get out. <laughs> I can we're get very, out of the car. We're very knowledgeable, aren't we? Yeah. I think it's zero. <laughs> I think we should turn off PDC for the suspension. Oh, yeah, traction control. We've been driving with that off. And now we leave the spoilers down. And then you're chilling, windows up. Yeah. And yeah. so you daily drive this? 100%. And easy for like parkings, everything? Everything. The only thing is when I put on the reverse camera, there is a lot of fumes coming out of the, the exhaust due to the decat. And I nearly hit into my friend's pista the other day and I realized, uh, yeah, I need to figure something out. Do <laughs> they sell cameras that are made for decats? Or a little camera wiper. <laughs> like every half an hour. Like, Can someone invent a decat reverse camera, please? <laughs> Awesome. Well, listen, thank you so much. I'm going to give you the wheel again. You're more than welcome. Thank you for letting me give it a go. Does this have CarPlay? Random question. Yes, 100%. So you've got all the amenities as well? Everything. And it has the, the later generation PCM, which yeah. uh, the 991.1 didn't have. And of course, you have your double cup holders with your <laughs> carbon fiber finish and Merry Christmas. Dude, I swear you should start, start a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, look at you go. All of a sudden, you're just like, okay, where do I put over? Wherever you want. Where, which way should we go? Do you want to say bye to the audience? Um, yes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you again very, very soon. This has been a lovely, lovely morning in the Porsche Turbo S. And I appreciate your support. Cheers.